Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is balancing redox reactions by oxidation number method. There are two methods for balancing redox reactions. The first is half reaction method and second one is oxidation number method. In the previous lecture, we have already discussed in detail about the half reaction method. So, in this lecture, we are only going to focus on oxidation number method. These are the steps we follow. Determine the oxidation number of each atom present on both the side of the equation. Identify the atoms undergoing change in oxidation number. Determine the change in oxidation number per atom for the entire molecule or ion in which it occurs. If increase in oxidation number is not equal to decrease in oxidation number, then multiply these by suitable coefficient to make them equal. Place these numbers as coefficients before the formulas containing those atoms. If the reaction is taking place in water, add H plus or OH minus on appropriate side for the charge balance. If the reaction is taking place in acidic medium, add H plus. And if it is taking place in basic medium, add OH minus. Lastly, add water molecules on appropriate side to balance the oxygen and hydrogen atoms. Now we will do the exercise. Let's take the example of reaction of permanganate ion with bromide ion under basic condition to produce manganese dioxide and bromate ion. Label this unbalanced equation as equation number 1. Now let's go step by step for balancing this equation using oxidation number method. Step number 1. Determine the oxidation number of each atom present on both the sides of the equation. On the left side, oxidation number of Mn, O and Br respectively are plus 7, minus 2 and minus 1. On the right side, the oxidation number of the same elements are plus 4, minus 2 and plus 5 respectively. Step number 2. Identify the atoms undergoing change in oxidation number. Here, oxidation number of Mn is changing from plus 7 to plus 4, while oxidation number of bromine is changing from minus 1 to plus 5. Step number 3. Determine the change in oxidation number per atom for the entire molecule or ion in which it occurs. The change in oxidation number of Mn is minus 3, while change in oxidation number of bromine is plus 6. Step number 4. If increase in oxidation number is not equal to decrease in oxidation number, then multiply these by suitable coefficient to make them equal. Here, Increase in oxidation number is 6, while decrease in oxidation number is 3. To make them equal, we have to multiply 3 by 2. Step number 5. Place these numbers as coefficients before the formulas containing those atoms. Now, we have to put coefficient 2 before MnO4- and MnO2. Thus, the equation will become 2MnO4 minus plus Br minus arrow 2MnO2 plus BrO3 minus. Equation number 2. Step number 6. Since the reaction is happening under basic medium, so we have to put OH minus on appropriate side for charge balancing. On the left side, there are three negative charges while on the right side there is only one negative charge. So we have to put 2 OH minus on the right side for the charge balancing. Thus the equation will become 2 MnO4 minus plus Br minus arrow 2 MnO2 
plus BRO3 minus plus 2OH minus equation number 3. Now, in the last step, we will put water molecule on appropriate side for balancing oxygen and hydrogen. Here, we can see that there are 8 oxygen atoms on the left while 9 on the right. So, we will have to put one water molecule on the left. So, the equation now will become 2MnO4 minus plus Br minus plus H2O arrow 2MnO2 plus BrO3 minus plus 2OH minus equation number 4. In this equation, hydrogen is already balanced. So, this equation will be the balanced redox reaction. Let's have another example in which HNO3 reacts with H3ASO3 to produce NO and H3ASO4. On the left side, the oxidation states of hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen and arsenic respectively are plus 1, plus 5, minus 2 and plus 3. On the right side, their respective oxidation states are plus 1, plus 2, minus 2 and plus 5. Here, we can see that oxidation number of nitrogen is changing from plus 5 to plus 2 and oxidation number of arsenic is changing from plus 3 to plus 5. So, change in oxidation number of nitrogen per atom is minus 3 while that of arsenic is plus 2. Since the increase in oxidation number is not equal to decrease in oxidation number, so we will have to multiply 3 by 2 and 2 by 3. So we will have to put 2 before nitrogen containing species HNO3 and NO and 3 before arsenic containing species H3ASO3 and H3ASO4. Thus, the equation will become 2HNO3 plus 3H3ASO3 arrow 2NO plus 3H3ASO4. Since both the sides are neutral, so we don't need charge balancing. For oxygen balancing, we will count the number of oxygen atoms on both the sides. On the left side, there are 6 plus 9 is equal to 15 oxygen atoms, while on the right, there are 2 plus 12 is equal to 14 oxygen atoms. So, we will have to put one water molecule on the right for oxygen balancing. Thus, the equation will now become 2HNO3 plus 3H3ASO3 arrow 2NO plus 3H3ASO4 plus H2O. On the left, there are 2 plus 9 is equal to 11 hydrogen atoms and on the right, there are 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 hydrogen atoms. Thus, the hydrogen atoms are already balanced. So, this equation will be balanced redox reaction. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.